morning 3k so today we're going to be looking at fractions again this is our third lesson of fractions but today we're going to be moving on to subtracting fractions now remember there are different ways of saying subtraction there's take away and don't forget there's also the sign the mathematical sign that tells us we have to subtract but first of all, I want to know what you've remembered about our fractions lessons from Monday and Tuesday. So if you could tell me two things you remember about fractions from yesterday's lesson and one thing you remember from the previous lesson. So remember that we are subtracting fractions today. Let's have a look at the in focus task. The girl says, two pieces have already been eaten and she's going to take another piece. So we have a problem to work out. First of all, how many pieces of the cake were there all together? What was the whole? Now is this number the numerator or the denominator? Next, have a look at how many pink pieces are left in the picture and write this as a fraction. Then, how many more pieces is the girl going to eat? Write this as a fraction. So, let's learn. Each piece is one seventh of the cake. If we look, the number seven is the denominator because that's how many pieces there were all together to begin with. There were five sevenths of the cake. The girl is taking one seventh of the cake more. So five sevenths take away one seventh is four sevenths. This means that four sevenths of the cake is left. We can show fractions in pictures, not just in blocks, but also in circles. So let's have a look at question two. How many pieces are there all together in that circle? I make nine. So nine is the denominator because that's how many pieces make up the whole. How many pieces are shaded? There are five ninths shaded. And the question's asking us to take a further one ninth away. So five ninths take away one ninth is going to give us how many ninths? How might you check that your answer is correct? Have a go at these questions. Remember you are subtracting. When you've answered those questions, can you explain how you know that you have the answer correct?
Here is a journal challenge for you. I'd like you to create a mathematical story involving subtracting fractions. Use the sequencing bubbles to help you on the next slide. I've done one for you as an example. I had a whole apple and I cut it into eight equal pieces and I've drawn my apple with eight equal pieces. A caterpillar ate two eighths of the eight pieces so I've drawn that in the picture too. A worm ate five eighths of the pieces so I've done that in the picture as well. I then need to work out how much is left. I now have one eighth of the whole apple left. I know this because I started with eight eighths and a caterpillar ate two eighths. This left me with a six eighths of the whole apple. A worm ate a further five eighths. So six eighths, subtract five eighths, leaves me with one eighth. You have a go at doing your own mathematical story using the next slide to help you.